A main theme so far this legislative session is the housing and rental market across Idaho. There's been a variety of property tax and housing assistance ideas, but one simple concept specifically has generated a lot of debate, rental application fees. Last year, the city of Boise passed a code that capped all rental application fees at $30. Well, new legislation at the state house could undo that, though based on the idea that local governments should not be involved in the business of being a landlord. Idahoans, Boise and beyond are calling on lawmakers to do something to stop that, to protect them. So a Pocatello lawmaker is presenting a new bill full of rental fee protections. The idea, keep the process fair and prevent predatory rental fee practices. Here's Joe Paris. New legislation is being touted as the most significant renter protections to date in Idaho. The idea behind it, to protect Idahoans who find themselves in an accelerated and competitive rental market. It does move the ball forward in protecting renters. Democrat Representative James Ruckty is sponsoring the legislation. He says the recent explosion in the Idaho rental market helped prompt the legislation. It just opens up the market to some uh, nefarious behavior, some bad behavior from landlords and uh, apartment managers. The bill breaks into a few items. First, if a landlord charges an application fee, they must number one, have a unit available, and two, disclose the criteria that the landlord will review for the background check. Rukti says this is a specific solution to a specific problem lawmakers have heard about. I didn't want to be do a bill that regulated an entire sector of the of the industry. If we could identify a specific problem, then that's what I wanted to focus on. The second set of conditions in the legislation, a landlord may not accept multiple application fees for a rental. The exceptions to that are two cases. One, the application fee is being used as a written backup offer in case the first application being considered falls through. Landlords need to handle one fee at a time. The bill also prevents landlords from doing a background check or spending the money until the first application fee falls through and the unit becomes available. The second scenario, if a owner thinks a unit will soon become available, they can accept an application fee as long as the tenant acknowledges in writing that it's to hold their place for the possible opening. Rukti says the ideas in the bill were created in part through conversations with rental industry professionals who are advocating for fairness and ethical practices. They were the ones who told us that these are the best practices in their industry when it comes to application fees. So that's why we use those best practices. The legislation passed the House committee with a due pass recommendation. It now heads to the full Idaho House. If eventually signed into law, a major question centers on enforcement of the bill. Who would make sure landlords are following the provisions? Rukti says the legislation fits in perfectly with the Idaho Consumer Protection Act. It can be used as a tool in a case under the Idaho Consumer Protection Act. Uh, I'm a trial attorney by trade. What I'll tell you is you could create a jury instruction that could go to the jury that says the following behavior is was against the law at the time these actions were taken, and you would basically take this statute that we're about hopefully about to pass and you would put that in the jury instructions. But All right, Joe, so that original bill that we talked about, the one that removes the caps on rental fees, that's still working its way through the state house. Right. But there was a lot of people who said, hold on, we can't do that. So this is a pretty good example of them like saying, we hear you. Yeah, and, and I think Representative Palmer, who's actually a co-sponsor on this bill, he had said that when he passed the legislation through the House that really got rid of the, you know, the $30 uh, rental application fee specifically in Boise, he said that was about regulations. He said to me in an interview here on the 208 that he was more than happy to get involved with rental protection things to make sure that renters are not being taken to advantage of in such a competitive housing market right now. So that is what this looks like, and that's really why you see Representative Rukti, a Democrat, and Representative Palmer, a Republican, on the same page here. Um, but with all of that said, Brian, lawmakers at the State House know that even if this passes, there's still a lot more work to be done. Representative Rukti telling me this afternoon, this is again a very specific fix to a very specific problem. Democrats and Republicans know that Idahoans are looking for more relief on property taxes uh, as well as other things as well. So this is one piece in the puzzle again early on, but there is optimism that it will pass. Small piece, you're talking big picture with the property tax and all that kind of stuff. That's a yes. bigger bite. For one sure. One piece at a time. Yes. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I'm not exactly. eating an elephant. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks, Joe.